Recently, someone shared this about his previous career, and it got netizens divided. What is it? His pay slip, of course. This guy was previously a teacher, and straight away netizens got divided. Some feel that teachers are underpaid. Some feel jealous, on the other hand. So if you have young children like me or so, teachers are someone you love and also hate at the same time. But it's undeniable that teachers have touched each and every single one of our lives. Let's talk very openly about teachers' pay and remove away some sensitivity away from this topic. Stay right to the very end because I have a surprising finding to share with you. Hi guys, welcome back. Let's start by discussing what this pay slip exactly states. If we put context to the case, this guy showed his pay slip which was in 2020. There's some increment to factor in for today's teachers already because MOE has actually raised pay by 5 to 10 percent. From my search, he's actually four to five years into service and he was previously teaching in a secondary school. And back then, he was drawing $5,133.67. So, from my research, the first thing that I can share with you, if you are not a teacher also, is that we usually assume teachers have different pay if they are from different schools. But Dollars and Cents has actually made this article before, stating that teaching salary differs depending on qualifications and not the level you teach. Which means also some of your better grade in their degree will get slightly more in terms of starting pay. That's what I interpret. But when we see some other sharing like this article on Seedly, they mention that the pay is different from primary and secondary school, which I think is incorrect. My gut feeling the more accurate one is they are the same for all levels, but the main difference comes in through experience. What we can see over here is a teacher with five to nine years experience will draw five to six thousand plus in terms of pay with CPF included. The key part about this difference is not only just the experience factor, but also the leadership factor, which probably includes the HOD route that some teachers embark on. And when I did a quick poll on my Telegram group, just in case you're keen, look for the links below to join Josh Tan Investment Official Group. I asked in a poll, how do people feel about teachers' pay? 20% have voted that teachers are overpaid. 20% seems a lot, but actually it isn't. If I were to poll whether financial advisors or property agents are overpaid or not, I fear that that will be the majority. Too many a times my industry is associated with flashy cars and watches, which I campaign against. My message to teachers is that you can take some comfort in knowing this, that your image is actually much better. 24% voted that they believe teachers are underpaid because there's so many private industries out there that pay more. For those who voted on this, could it be also a perspective from their current position? Maybe they are doing well in their corporate job. That's fine. But there are also many walks of life who are not doing too well in their careers and are struggling to make ends meet. 12% vote that teachers are underpaid because they can earn more when they do tutoring. We've all seen headlines like this. Super tutor earns at least $1 million each year. That actually can be true because the top of the top of each industry can make a lot of money. In my industry, there are people who make a million dollars. In property industry, there are people who make a million dollars. Someone who's running a cleaning company can also make a million dollars. The key is to be a top of the top of your industry. And the same goes for tutors. But I'd like to state also that we forget conveniently that the reason this made it to the headline because it's very rare. I assume that most go into tutoring, go there because there's more flexibility and that they've been so burned out from the current education system. Being a private tutor, in my opinion, Sundays, you may need to still teach also. So that's a bit different from an MOE teacher. Then let's go back to the survey. We'll discover that 44% feel that pay is okay because there are bonuses that bumps up annual income and there is job stability. That is what I also voted for and let me justify why. Most if not all of the teachers are degree holders. Some even have masters. And if you were to see the median income by age for degree holders, we would draw conclusions. We can see that those that are in their late 20s on median income draw about 4,500 plus. Those that are in their early 30s draw around $6,000. Comparing this against Sidley's findings of average teacher's pay, we would realize that the progression for teachers are actually quite good. The pay is median income at least, if not slightly higher. Again, there's job security, but the common complaint is that teachers have to deal with crazy parents. Hopefully, I'm not one of them. I'm sometimes very direct, but I think I'm fair. And we've all heard of complaints that teachers burn a lot of weekends doing marking and stuff. But also, teachers have something that really bumps up the total pay package, which is this Connect plan. 
Teachers earn not just the base pay, they also earn yearly bonuses, but Connect Plan is a further incentive that incentivizes teachers to stay in their jobs. Of course, when a teacher stays longer, they become more experienced, and I do think that a longer serving teacher has, will have more skill sets to teach students. This Connect Plan, if you haven't seen it, Dollars and Cents has actually published it, which states that on year 4, a teacher can expect to earn $15,200 as an extra payout. Year 7, extra $24,000, which means for the 3 years, extra $8,000 bonus. Pretty good. Year 10, there's a $25,900. And someone in their year 10 might be around the age of 35, 36, which again bumps up the annual income package to above Singapore's median income. But there's also a further side that I'd like to draw, which is if we see median income for degree holders for those aged 45 to 49 and 50 to 54, that stands at 9006, 9007. This is where I can observe that if teachers don't take on leadership roles, quite possibly they'll be at median income or slightly below. Because those in private sectors will be quite senior already. That's why the median income for 40 plus early 50s are around a 10k per month range. And that's where I feel in totality, the overall career package for annual pay for teachers is quite okay actually. So what can be a conclusion, correct? I think at some point in time, we were all feel underpaid. Think about it. A nurse working during the pandemic, we felt underpaid. Everybody was working from home. It's true. It's not fun to be in clinics, being exposed to coronavirus. An accountant in the big four will feel underpaid, especially in peak seasons where they have to burn extra hours late into the night. Again, at some point in time, we will all feel underpaid and it's very easy to compare with someone who is earning more. That's fine actually, that's human nature. But I also like to share a post from a friend of mine. My form class students asked me about my salary after the viral TikTok video. Students nowadays are interested about money, which is good. But some things are priceless. Seeing students grow and develop into leaders, be there for them, and with them when they are down, discovering new knowledge together, journeying with them, all these are priceless. So I tell my students I'm a very rich man, but don't expect McDonald's treat every term. Well said, my friend. Satisfaction and happiness goes beyond pay. It's a lot on impact. I think that's something very intangible that the teaching career does provide. So as always, if you agree, smash the like button because it's taking our team hours to prepare this whole discussion for you. And press on subscribe, especially if you'd like to hear more and learn more about financial topics right here in Singapore. I've promised you a surprise since you stayed right to the very end, which is this conclusion by Dave Ramsey. He's done an episode before that states teachers are consistently millionaires. In his top five careers for millionaires, teaching is one of them. And that's not because teaching is a super high paid job. There are intangibles that teaching career provides. Maybe US teachers are different from Singapore teachers. I don't know. But I choose to believe that teachers become millionaires generally because of this factor. They teach students and therefore they are generally more disciplined. When it comes to investing, discipline means you be consistent in your investment approach. If you want to build $200,000, you need to contribute $1,000 per month, rain or shine for 10 years and ride through market ups and downs. For the first 5 years in this situation, you see there's almost no gain. At some point in the 8th year, all the gains are wiped out through a bear market, almost back to zero. But staying the course and following the right frameworks allows an investor who is disciplined to eventually reap rewards from Mr. Market. Discipline is what helps you become a millionaire and it's quite possibly more important even than high pay. As always, if you like this message, smash the like button and check out this previous tutorial I've done before that discusses on high income. If you haven't seen this viral video, let me invite you there to check it out. And as always, thank you for watching at the very end and I'll see you next one. Take care as always, goodbye.